Hello everyone, welcome back to Majesty 2 Monster Kingdom and welcome to the next mission, the Mystic Tavern. Sire, there is trouble. Wake up. The Conclave somehow discovered our location and is preparing an attack. Our gnome builders are in panic. Someone snuck into the camp and stole the relics they used to build the guilds of the Minotaurs, Liches, Kotals, Werewolves and Ratmen. Fortunately, we have already built these guilds in the surrounding area, but they are located far from the castle, and it will be difficult to protect them. But at least we have some forewarning of the impending attack. I am concerned by one other thing. Our gnomes say that along with the attackers, there were mighty warriors who emerged from a house that seemed to appear out of nowhere. I hope to the gods that our gnomes only imagined it out of fear. But it reminds me of an old legend of a tavern destroyed in ancient times. Ever since, the ghost of the tavern has often been seen in places of great battles. The spirits of the fallen heroes gather there, returning to Ardania during times of trouble. But I greatly doubt that the Conclave priests could summon this tavern to serve them. No, it simply can't be true. Uh, worry not, sire. I'm just a worried, nagging old man. You need only concern yourself with recovering those relics, which we need to construct the guilds of your finest warriors. Sire, we should be ready for the forces of the Conclave to attack our base at any moment, and we have no way of knowing where our enemy will appear. The scouts of the priests were sighted in the vicinity which means they will know all the avenues of attack. Most likely, the enemy will come by the roads, but we must be prepared for anything. So as said, we already start with these guilds here. In, in the remote areas of this map here. ...has analyzed the attacks on our camp and believes that the enemy has built three outposts around your camp field hospitals and supply houses. Most likely, the Templars have not had time to remove the stolen relics from the area. But if our enemies are wise, they will store these artifacts separately in different supply houses. We must destroy these outposts, sire, that we may once again be able to build the guilds of our strongest heroes. Here are the details on where we believe the outposts are located. So the good thing about this map is that you start with a whole bunch of guilds, so you do have all these guilds here prepared for you. Of course, the downside is that they are a little far away, but at least you can get a little bit of a head start with getting a werewolf early, stuff like that. So of course, werewolves are awesome, and so they're well, they're not they're not really late game; they're more like mid mid game, I guess. So no, not good. almost built an archer skill here. So. Oh yeah, the Redman Guild. Yeah, I can't, I can't even, can't even build a Redman Guild. God damn it! So let's, let's get, then let's get this one here up to speed. So also I'm going to upgrade my marketplace straight away. Because one, one important thing to know here is that that's a lot of cockroaches. Is that let's build one tower here? Oh, there's a portal here. That's convenient. Yeah, what what you should know is that the heroes the tavern sense at the beginning is actually pretty weak so those are pretty weak so those heroes can usually be dispatched with your scepter let's just let's just use the the orb here once more and then you, let's focus on the scepter so you can you can use that first so you don't really need any heroes in the beginning of course you still want to have some f f to de defend your base and stuff what you can also do is, as I'm doing it right now, if you construct something close to one of those other guild, guilds, you essentially force your goblins to to explore the map, which is convenient. Let's just put some exploration flags here and put some good money on them. Otherwise, they're not going to explore them. But yeah, uh, start the map, this map by getting your economy going. Uh, thanks to the, the Lich's guild you start with, you can actually get... Oh, there's, there's a lot of things here. You can actually get a magic bazaar straight away, which is always nice. And you can also tag up your palace and your tavern quickly because it's not like 
uh, you need to build all those guilds first. So let's put some rewards on these dance here. This one here is one I want out of the way, so I can get up this can get this trading post here up. And so here, here, so so here, here's definitely one of those. Oh yeah, no, one of my heroes is dead. And werewolf, werewolf is already level six. It's pretty good. But tis all the better. My name is Brother Lucius the Luminous, and I shall be the one who finally establishes order in Ardania. But first, our young champions rush into the battle. How can I stop them? I shall found the Mighty Mighty Heroes Party. Ah, uh, that's cool. So, and dead. So, yeah, the first heroes they are really low level. You can just dispatch them like this. And don't really have to worry about it. So here's an Ogre's Den. I'm probably not going to get that straight away. Let's upgrade the Lich's Guild. Should I get some? Yeah, let, might as well get some Minotaurs. And um, what do we have here? Yeah, that needs to be dealt with. Otherwise, this trading post is not going to last long. And here, there's definitely uh, one of these houses here. Otherwise, there wouldn't be heroes lurking around. I can dispatch of those guys two with the scepter but first oh there's actually some more dents here so let's, let's get another trading post here and yeah the, the tavern it appears from time to time and the heroes coming out of the tavern they will get stronger and stronger but what you can do is you can essentially level your heroes that way so come on come on just up your soldiers have discovered the first outpost of the enemy, just as Deluc Garou predicted. So, Excellent work. There are only two more to find. Someone please get that outpost before... Oh, that is... What are you doing? Here we go. Someone please get that outpost before... Uh, the heroes are resurrected. So, should get some, some upgrades. This, this here can be destroyed. And let's get these basic upgrades here. Let's. Oh, that's not actually what I wanted to research, but never mind. Okay, so we found. Oh yeah. outpost, we found supplies for your heroes and the relics needed to build the guilds of Ratman and Werewolves. Okay. Yeah. Another downside of your of your heroes being relatively far away is that. Well, haven't I gotten a blacksmith yet? Is that you have to. Is the tavern of which I spoke. If you destroy it, its guardians, the legendary heroes, will pursue you. Although if the regular heroes of the tavern begin to attack you, the legendary party will appear sooner or later as well. But I wonder what happened to Bala Hull. It seems that his brother Luminous, who is so fond of shouting, has taken command of the tavern in his stead. Help me. Well, at least he didn't change the sign. So, here is another one of these houses, so let's destroy that as well. Yeah, the deal with the tavern is that the, the final group of heroes, the legendary group, is actually a level 40 hero group. Now, this sounds super scary, but keep in mind that... Sire, in the outpost we found supplies for your heroes and the relics needed to build the guilds of minotaurs and cultists. Yeah, keep in mind that it's actually not that big of a deal because uh, compare that to level 20 hero because usually you finish a map with level let's say level 15 to level 20 heroes with level 20 being relatively high so like how you actually managed to beat that wolf and now you're going to get killed so tavern here what appeared again in the same spot that's a chance against these guys the heroes of mind and magic party Oh, I wonder to what not so popular anymore franchise that is a reference to. Doesn't really matter. These guys here aren't all that strong either. So even this guy here, who's definitely the best one, he's he's almost dead now. Someone please kill him. So in, in the meantime, let's just upgrade stuff and upgrade this one here to max. Let's not destroy the tavern yet, because the heroes they're not they're not weak. They are they are fairly strong. But at the same time 
they the level 40 heroes they aren't that scary because the the party doesn't even actually they don't really work together all that well they just just come for you like most monsters do so as a result uh, for example there's a i think there's an ice mage among them uh, that guy he still has very low hit points and these guys have maybe something like five or eight thousand hit points it does sound scary but you have to remember that a lot of boss type monsters you fight they usually have something like 30,000 hit points so those guys aren't exactly damage sponges so yeah don't don't worry too much about them and it actually takes until i think day 80 until the heroes pop up unless you destroy the tavern oh there's another ogre den here so may as well destroy that as well so and should probably get a probably get a temple as well but first let me let me get these upgrades here and i'm going to save hmm. so this is uh, these guys are a little bit pesky so i think i'm going to build another tower here oh yeah there's definitely two of these dents now so i'm going to build another tower here yeah, overall this mission isn't a yeah, there's, there's no need to panic here really so there should be another one of these of these dens here and at this point my heroes should be strong enough to just kill whatever gar guardians they have let's also form some parties and i think i want a second werewolf hut as well but that could be a little bit expensive which would cost me oh wait that's, that's a completely wrong thing oh yeah almost four thousand oh yeah this yeah i probably need a party for that or i need to, to wipe out those guys first and then rush in with whomever I have there, so let's research parties. Nobody needs to be resurrected. <laughs> Quartal just tries to move in. Skeletons in. That's some sort of some sort of reference I don't quite get. In any case, let's just let's just form a party. So and let's get some more interest here. Oh come on, you guys you guys weren't killed just because it was in the Shroud of War. Let's just cheap. Oh yeah, party. That's what I wanted to build. So let's try that again. I really want a werewolf party. I always want a werewolf party. Werewolf party. No, werewolf party. A red man and you can be a healer. That's great. Let's just build at least two more parties, but probably one after I got this depot was packed with supplies. In addition, we found the relic necessary for the construction of the Lich Guild. Mm, there's a Lich one too. Yeah, here we go. That's good. Upgrade you and let's... The next party is players of Ardania, testing their strength against the traitors. Okay, and that's, that's cute and all. Okay, yeah, this is not good, so... Well, maybe it is, because it seems like these guys were still weak enough to be wi wiped out by the scepter. Well, that went well. What do we have? Oh, that's that's a tavern. So let's, let's not destroy that right now. So, did I miss any trading posts? Of great Where did you come from, anyway? So, um... I bet I didn't put any... Yeah, there's, there's no actual reward for destroying that. So... You just... Just get lost. You get all your upgrades here. Okay, I'll build, I'll build another tower here. It's not like those are actually expensive. Let's build a temple here. Let's get all these upgrades. Let's get all the upgrades. May as well get these ones here once I can actually get them. And more upgrades here. And more upgrades here. So, get this one here. What about the blacksmith? Let's get, oh, let's get, let's get the armor upgrades first. Going to, not going to use the orb yet because I, I don't really need it all that desperately. And I could, may as well just... And just save it for the moment I actually need to defend against more heroes. Wasn't there yet another trading post somewhere on this map? Well, maybe not. Yeah, one thing about these ogre dances, I'm not really sure what they're 
supposed to be quest related, but they're just there. There's no, I don't think there's an ogre actually coming out of them. I'm just curious. So you become a healer as soon as you leave that building. And as soon as I actually have the money to afford that. In the meantime, you may as well become a red paladin. And you may as well get the abilities attached to that, which I don't think I usually get. For some reason, I tend to forgot about those. You may as well form one more party, I guess. So let's see who's still around to form one. Um, Redman, actually, Redman, Kotal, Spear Guy, and maybe a Lich or so. Then again, maybe another Spear Guy and can turn one of you into, into a healer. So, but first, you will be turned into a healer. And so will you once I actually build another temple because that's what I need for that. So, here we go. Another temple. And kind of surprised. I thought that Tavern would show up more frequently. But I guess I was wrong about that. And someone can explore here and get these treasures. I guess. And then the maps almost reveal completely. How did you get all the way over here? Why did you do that? Never mind. So I think we got all the upgrades here. Yep, looks good. And... Did we get all the upgrades here? No, we did. Same here. Oh yeah, I want to build another werewolf house. I think that's still worth it. Even at this point. Because werewolves are also super durable. Come on. Humans, they would happily die for a few slip more gold, my lord. So spend some gold. Bloody angels, okay. See how much damage I can do here. Still kills most of them. Oh, well this guy here is certainly going to regret what he was trying to do. Come on. Just, just kill him. There we go. Don't just knock him back. Just kill him properly. Come on. Jarl. Didon of No Town. Okay. Yeah, those are still all Schwarzenegger clowns. Oh, should probably get... Should probably get those upgrades as well. And... Oh yeah, Resurrection. That's something I often just neglect because those monster heroes are generally pretty sturdy and oftentimes oh, I don't really get that far, so let's get you. Okay, I'm, I'm going to make make another test here. I'll see whether you get any of these abilities without those being abilities you had in, in, your, in your own personal guild because I'm still not sure whether you need to upgrade a specific guild to get all the stuff. In any case, you become a healer, and so should you, once I have the money. Guild is full. Guild is full? Really? How? Who's attached to this guild? Did I? How? How's, how's that guild full? Anyway, you don't really need that, but you do. Oh, it's not full. Well, never mind that then. And... Let's instead check out that other werewolf. So you have... Inventory, statistics, description, abilities. Okay, so he... Get others. Yeah, whatever. Whatever, I'm still not sure. I should look that up, really. I should have looked that up like a year ago. Several years ago. But then again, who cares? So let's get you all of these upgrades here, just in case. And yeah, at this point, it's really just hanging around on the map and waiting for for those other heroes to show up. Then putting um, you, uh, the red is actually trying to destroy the tavern here, which of course has 5,000 hit points, because of course it does. So let's get this stuff here. And I think that's pretty much it. I guess my heroes can fight a couple of cockroaches, and that's that's it. I, that's it, I guess. So can you do you enter this guild here and get all the abilities? We'll see. Let's actually check that out. 
Because it seems like you can. Might as well get the spell here. So let's check you out again. Wait, did you... Hmm. Doesn't look like you got any any new abilities here, but... Were those abilities you started with? Or, yeah, whatever. Whatever. Let's instead get some, some of these potions here. May as well. And wait for the next next bunch of heroes to show up. So the tavern is gone. So there should be new heroes showing up anytime. And my heroes are kind of underleveled. Maybe I destroyed those those dents too too quickly. But then again, you don't really want to mess around. And you want your heroes to be on the map early. And you don't really want all those monsters to destroy your guilds because they're kind of kind of vulnerable. Oh and look at look at oh that's that's the tavern. Never mind that then. Okay, still killing most of these guys just like that, so still still killing most of these guys. So let's see how first level the werewolf does against these beastmasters. It seems that only the holy, like sacred heroes or whatever you want to call them, those seem to be the only ones really surviving against, against my heroes. So, and that guy still fell really quickly against the first level werewolf. I guess. So you know what? I think I'm going to blow up the tavern rather quickly. Uh, you know what? Let, let, let's just do it. So Any or hmm, let, let's wait until our scepter is full because I think there's casters among the heroes of the tavern, and those still should be very susceptible to. Oh, should I get the armor first? Could get the armor first. Yeah, I can afford the armor. Let's just get the armor first. Those should still be very susceptible against against the scepter. I'm not quite sure what how the scepter damage is calculated again. It is, high time I rest. is it? Okay, let's yeah, whatever you want. And still everybody alive. So there's a lot of a lot of guys can send after this tavern now that I have a decent amount of money, and I, I think I'll save some for resurrection or so, or or some for putting bounty on whatever heroes come out of there so these guys are on their way everybody's on their way which is great and i like how how ridiculously oversized these spears are they're essentially goblin specialists now the, go the goblin specialists they were super annoying in the in the campaign they originally competed in because they were just so good against buildings including dwarven towers even those would so let's just To slow down a little bit and let's actually see where those guys are. Let's just put some bounties on them. They're kind of hard to see. Yeah, the priests of Adrella, those those definitely need to die. There's two of them. I don't really want them to heal everybody here. So here's Lucius the Luminous himself. As you can see, this yeah, they're, they're already dead here. And the reason being that they still, have, they still have very low hit points. Even this guy here, he's, he's less than 6,000 hit points. And there we go already. And we didn't even get to read that, that victory message. Anyway, not really a difficult mission because you start with... Essentially, the the game gives you all the advantages. You start with the, with the full town, pretty much. So you can build up your economy. And because you can build up your economy, you can essentially afford even more stuff than you start with. Then you get even more stuff from all those those guilds. And maybe I should choose uh, a Minotaur or so this time. Or maybe a sh another Shaman. I have one, but Shamans are generally quite useful. Or maybe Quartal. Uh, yeah, let's just choose you. So yeah, it gives you a lot of advantages. And then you can just... All the dents are very easy. There's no dragon, there's no, no serpents. It's just wolves and undead. And as you could see, the final heroes, they were pretty weak. The scepter almost kills some of them, which makes it really easy. And they just, uh, they don't really fight as a coherent group, with, which is really their weakness. And they can also be taken care of quite easily because their hit points are just so low. So there's very little, very little the game throws at you here. I mean, they look really impressive, but ultimately they're nothing compared to those 50,000 hit points monstrosities you usually fight as final bosses. So thanks for watching and I shall see you next time. Take care and goodbye. And next time we're already at the pre-ultimate mission.